Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Elegant Themes Monarch plugin for social sharing and following options. Before we dive in, I just wanted to say if you don't already have an Elegant Themes membership, you can get one with 10% off by using my link below, WPWithTom.com slash Divi, and you'll get access to things like the Monarch plugin builder if you don't already have it. So within the dashboard here, we can actually navigate over and within our products area, once we log in, you can actually go and download the Monarch plugin here. So I'm going to go through the process of actually doing that. But if you want, you can just skip through this if you already have it installed and then dive into the video in a minute or so from now. So I'm just going to go and click download Monarch right here and I'll save the file. And I also do have a Bloom tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out as well but for now let's go into the monarch one and if we go back over to our plugins area we'll click add new and i'll click upload plugin and i'll go over to the folder that it's in and i'll just simply drag it and drop it in install now so it says it's installed and i'm going to click activate plugin and now we have it enabled what we're going to do from here within the plugin section is hit settings and from there, we'll be brought to this layout options area. And we can choose where we want the social share icons to display. We can have it on a sidebar, inline, pop-up, fly-in, or media. I'm going to go through the example here of just having sidebar for now and just showing you what that will look like. So if we go over to where it says networks, we can get started. And this is where you would add different networks such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, if you click on add networks you can add a variety of other ones that you might want to have maybe you have a tumblr or something like that you can just click on that and then click apply and now you see that tumblr is also added to this so let's say you wanted to rearrange them you can just click hold and drag and rearrange them just drop it in in the order that you want and let's say you want to get rid of one you can just click on this minus icon when you hover over it so then we're just left with the various networks here you're going to want to put in your username as far as that goes for Twitter and then just go and save the changes to make the networks go into effect that are going to show in the icons or these buttons on the sidebar in this case. So if we were to navigate over here to the sidebar tab, you can see that we have a variety of options. This first one right here is going to let us choose the icon and style. If you hover over it, you can see what it does. So you can see it gives this little gray area or this hover effect once you go over it then this one you can see it pops out a little bit so they know which one they're on this one slides and this one just has it hover a little bit of a gray color as you go over the specific icon I actually think this one right here gives a very clear idea of what one you're hovering on and this one's pretty good as well I'm gonna go and use this one right here and just change that you also can leave it as the default right here as well and then here you can choose the icon style. You can have it with the rounded corners, just a regular square, or you can have it circular. I'm going to go and leave it with this one with the square. On this area in the display settings, I actually wouldn't change anything here. The only thing you might want to consider changing is the display share count. And that you might want to show if you have a lot of different people sharing the post that you have this on. I'm going to use this on a blog post and you might want to display the total shares and the share counts. But if you don't have a lot of people sharing that, I think it actually can have a negative effect and make your website look less popular and, and in turn less shareable for other people. So I'm going to just go down to where it says color settings. And by default, you're going to have the network color. So Facebook's going to be blue in a darker blue and then a lighter blue for Twitter, a red for Pinterest as example. It's going to be their default colors here. So I'm going to leave that as is as well. Here's where you can choose where the settings display. So if you want it to be on your home page or on all pages, you can enable these. I'm just going to have it on post for this example, and I'm going to click save changes. So down there, that should make our changes go into effect. So if we went up here, you can see if we refresh this home page here, there's going to be nothing on this page because we only put it for blog posts. It would be on the left side if it was there. But if we navigate over to blog, and then we click on a blog post, you're going to see there it is, the icons are on the left side, and it does this effect as we hover where it pops out a little bit. You can also see there's this option right here to collapse that, 
and then open it up. So that's a nice little feature that's built into whatever one you use. And that is how you would add that. So if we wanted to add, let's say we wanted to add the icons to be shareable at the bottom of the post, we can do that as well. So let me quickly show you how to do that. If we went back over here into the Monarch settings, and then we went to where it says inline, we can go and add it as an inline feature. I'm going to leave it as default here, and I'll leave this as the default as well. Right here, we'd want to choose if we want it to be below the content, above the content, or both above and below. I'm going to put it as below. I think it looks best. Icon alignment, I'm going to make it centered, and then I'm going to make three because we have Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter enabled by default here. So you can choose if you want to display the share counts. I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to scroll down here, leave the default colors, and only have it on post. And I will save those changes. The other thing you want to do is make sure you go to locations. And then you click on inline to enable it. And then save that as well. So now this should display below our post once we refresh it. So if we go back over here and just click refresh, we can scroll down. And there we are. There are icons right below the post. And people can share that. If you want to turn on the share count, you can, but in this case, I just wanted to show you how you can quickly enable that as well as the sidebar over here. So that wraps up how to quickly use the Monarch plugin in this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more WordPress related tutorials and check out the Elegant Themes Bloom plugin that I'm going to have come up on the screen after this video. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.